Hello, my name is Travis and I want to show you uh, how you can use Google Contacts as your CRM system, Customer Relationship Manager. It certainly would be nice to just use the contacts you already have um, as a CRM. And there are ways to do it, but it's really hard to see what you have inside of all these contacts. I have a bunch of famous people here listed as uh, examples. Um, one of the great features of uh, Google's workspace contacts is that there's a little magic inside of this custom field section and you can add all sorts of neat data for a prospect, a, you know, a client or whatever you're working with in many different types of businesses but it's really hard to report on these things uh, and look into uh, a whole pool of contacts when you're just looking at you know a whole list you can't see all those wonderful metrics sales metrics that you can report on um, and create actions on and that type of thing so what we did is we built an add-on for Google Sheets that pulls in your contacts and it works in both ways and you basically visualize here on a sheet. And so for instance, that one that we were just looking at, Ben Affleck, if you hover over his name, uh, it'll bring up a URL that go directly to his contact. Another neat feature is if you hover over his email and click detailed view, it pops up as a side window right here. And you'll see all those same custom fields that I had kind of shown before. And once these things are in the sheet, we could sort by, for instance, status. So I have a couple filters already made. And I say I want to just look at my prospects. I just created a filter and saved it and called it prospects. The filter is just status named prospect. Uh, we can show you how to use that some other time. Click that. It'll sort your contacts right down to everybody that's called a prospect. If you want to sort even further, you could then say, oh, I only want to look at um, people interested in, you know, multifamily. Uh, these are some real estate examples. You can use them for other businesses as well. So we have two. So say we had a new multifamily opportunity and we wanted to, you know, touch base with a prospect that's looking at multifamily. From here, actually, a, a really neat trick is you could just highlight these two uh email addresses, control C, or I guess command C on a Mac. Um, and you could go ahead and open an email. I wasn't planning on showing this, but uh, then right here, you could just uh, even blind CC both of them, paste them in, and then you could talk about whatever uh, opportunity you might have. Another neat feature is it does connect with your Google Calendar. So these are all date specific actions that we put in. Um, just randomly grab one uh, from lab last month. So Angelina Jolie had, uh, you know, a call scheduled for the 14th of February. So from right here, you could just dial her uh, phone number, give her a call. You also can jump right to her full contact record. So say, you, uh, and, and here's where the call was scheduled, just in the uh, date field. And we just named it call. Could be another action like mail something, um, text something, just a trigger for you to do something with this person. And then say you, you know, you make contact after your call, just hop in with the edit button. Uh, I like to click just the top row, two enter spaces, and then go back up, put the date, 
Today is actually, I think, uh, the 22nd or something, 0322-2023. Uh, talk to Angelina Re, you know, uh, selling real estate. And then just save. And uh, now you have, uh, you can just keep an ongoing record of your communication. Uh, back in the sheet, if we just unfilter, close that out, the add-on is over here in your sidebar once you download it from the Workspace Marketplace. And from here, there's some options. Uh, each time you open it, if you've made a new or updated contacts, you just sync the contacts and it'll pull it into the sheet with all updated information. Or if you're already just working with it and you spend a few hours working with your uh, sales contacts, you would maybe after uh, a couple hours, you would say, okay, I'm done. Um, everything's been saved within the contact record. You could sync the contacts then. Also for consistency, the best uh, practice is to use a new contact uh, creation field uh, or button here where instead of going into the contacts and what that does is it allows you to keep consistent of all these uh, predefined fields that we think are the best metrics to track uh, first name last name email phone of course uh, the status so you can define these in another section of the add-on which I will show you um, so status category and type these are all customizable to whatever your business uh, dictates time frame we just uh, typically mean that in months so three six nine twelve probability of it closing what's the value of the deal uh, or how big is the the deal how big is the the fee or the commission that is specific to you and your sales business where the business came from, the source, we'd like to track that. Uh, it's good to uh, track uh, the date of your initial contact, when your expected close date is, and the last verified date, the last time you actually spoke to them. So right within here, you create a new contact to keep consistency uh, within the uh, data fields that get pulled into the sheet. And it only pulls in contacts that have these fields in them so if you have other contacts that are just personal they wouldn't get pulled in unless you added one of these uh, predefined fields in the custom field area and then it would start appearing uh, in your contact crm sheet uh, to establish the uh, customs you just go into configuration you can create your custom fields up here as well. These are all the predefined ones. But it, for category type and status, or status, you just go here, and I just predefined uh, one, two, three, four uh, for, for that. Um, and though that's how I have the pull down in the create contact uh, form. So type, and we could just add another one here. Uh, We'll go, what do we we'll say, office, we could just add, click add. So now when we go to new contact, under type, we've just added office. That was not there before. Um, and once you do have all your contacts working uh, like this, we can get into fun other ways to visualize our data with dashboards and things like that. One simple one is um, just a pivot table, <laughs> which will pull in your contacts just like this. And it still has a link even right to the contact. So we've got Tiger Woods here, jumps right to him. We have some other dashboard uh, features coming. Uh, and just back to um, this feature, if we were gonna filter by our clients, I only have a couple uh, 
called client at the moment, client active. But if you just highlight, say, on the value column, you see it quickly can just click the whole column in the right down here in the right. It'll show you the total total value of all clients and then the total potential fees of all clients. So it's really good uh, to see uh, what your pipeline looks like. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, we should be able to show you a few more features in the future. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and find it useful. Please uh, go to, uh, we have a link here, uh, Contact CRM, uh, which is in the marketplace on uh, Google Workspace Marketplace. Uh, here's the direct URL if anybody wants to go that way. But you can certainly just uh, search Contact CRM. Um, and you will see everything here. Just click the download button. Um, it's only $25 per year, two bucks a month about. So good luck and thank you for watching.